So today we have a review of L.A. Noir. Uh, Rockstar Games presents L.A. Noir. Rockstar. Um, got this game pre-owned, fifty-four dollars at GameStop. Uh, wanted to get it new, but I got a better deal getting it used, and you get a longer time with used games. So, anyways, let's get uh, down to the game. L.A. Noir is obviously produced by Rockstar, and is a uh, crime game down in the mid '40s in Los Angeles. And the one big thing about this game, before I get into any detail. Yes, it does come on three discs. Three. Yes, one, two, three. Now you're probably thinking, oh, this is for just like each disc is a different story. No. Across all of these are 27 cases. So there's nine on here, nine on here, and nine on here. Each of them are different. So what this game is basically about is you are a uh, Los Angeles cop in, ni in the 1940s who starts off as a beat patrol person, meaning, you know, a regular cop that just walks around and writes tickets or, you know, does petty theft. And you eventually move your way up to homicide, then up to vice, and then to arson. And arson is uh, fires, anything that has to do with death or property damage caused by fires. So you're the main character is Cole Phelps, who moves his way quite quickly up through the ranks from beat patrol all the way to arson. He was in the Marines over in Vietnam. He was a sergeant, I believe. So this just shows how when he comes back to Los Angeles, how he's able to become a police officer and work for the law and work for the government again. So the one thing I really like about this game is all the characters you'll see during your interrogations, none of those are computer generated. They had real actors sitting down, all the face movements, all the twitches, all the little like looks left and right, blinks, eyes, you know, scratches, all of that was filmed and put into the game. Nothing was computer generated at all. And it's your job to figure out whether they're lying, telling the truth, or you doubt them. And if they're lying, you basically, you get evidence before you do the interrogation that proves that they're lying. So this person, you know, let's say robbed a bank. Okay, you have evidence, you have someone snapped a photo of them. And you show them, and then they basically they lied to you. So you're basically gaining access and trying to solve the crime as easy as possible. So this game is a great game. Honestly, Rockstar has done it once again. Every game that I played by Rockstar is just amazing. L.A. Noir, I would give it a 10 out of 10. It's excellent. This game will have you going forever, and you'll want to replay it because there's more you can just do besides the cases. There's street crimes. There's clues you can find around. Plus, when you interrogate people more and you get more questions right, the case becomes bigger and you start to understand more what the case is really about. Now, there is a secret backstory in here that leads through all the discs, but I'm not going to let you know that. I'm going to actually have you guys go out and get this game or rent it so you can find that for yourself. So again, this game is $54.99. When I bought it, it's probably $60 or my, the price might have dropped down. I think it's about $50 new. Um, three discs. Basically, there's just so much content that it just couldn't all be stored on one Xbox disc. Uh, it does come on one disc for the PS3 because, as you know, Blu-ray discs hold four times memory than a regular DVD disc because what the Xbox uses. So there's just so much content that they had to use three in it. Honestly, it's perfect because what it does is when you finish up one disc, it'll say, please insert disc one, uh, disc two or disc three, and it loads you right back into the game so you don't have to go to dashboard or anything like that. So... L.A. Noir, 10 out of 10, definitely go pick it up or rent it.